Hey, DIYers. I wanted to talk a little bit more about these Fortune uh, LiPo 4 lithium iron phosphate cells. These particular cells are really cool because they are like Legos for with batteries, like somebody commented on in one of Will Pro's videos. They're really great that way. You can see this, this battery bank, just disregard the alligator clips, but this battery bank is tied in series parallel. So the actual series is, is this way. So these cells are tied in series, and then they're tied in parallel this way. So this is actually 60 amp hour, 12 volts right here, this series tie. Um, and this is 60 hours, 60 amp hours, 12 volts. So total 180 amp hours, 12 volts. But if I wanted it to just flip this around, I could flip this group of cells and tie them all in series and I would have a 36 volt battery. And if I wanted to buy four more of these guys, I could do a 48 volt battery or I could just switch them back and forth. You know, obviously you should balance the cells that you're gonna use together. Uh, and then there's videos, there's videos on that. Will Pros has one, lots of people do. Um, you tie the cells together in parallel in just a row overnight, that helps. And then if you bottom balance them, it helps even more. Um, obviously you should run a BMS, which I'm not running right here and proper fusing and all that. But these are really, really great cells. Um, in addition to that, uh, you can uh, kind of configure these in different ways. I will, will did a different bank of these in, in a different way. And I, uh, it depends on the space that you have. But these are, these are not, they're not the lightest of the prismatic cells, but they're not heavy either. These are, this battery bank is about 45 pounds, which is pretty reasonable for 180 amp hours. So to equip, to get, to get past that with deep cycle batteries, you'd have to buy four of them. I don't even want to think about how much that would weigh, because as you all know, you can only use 50% of the 100 amp hours in most, uh, flooded lead acid cells so anyways this is definitely one of the things that are is worth talking about um, with these particular cells it's a lot easier than say this other battery bank which i can't really show you right now because of the uh, uh situation with the camera but anyways caught up in wires and stuff and all that but this other battery bank right here which i'm testing is a real pain in the butt because you have to make the bus bars which are right there yourself and then you have to protect it all and then you have to figure out how to adapt a bms to it and these is this is incredibly light battery uh, and very high energy density that's that's a hundred uh, it's 120 amp hours at 24 volts which would be 240 equivalent but these are lithium polymer and that's a different chemistry. You may not get many, get as much durability out of them. There's another video on that as well. So anyways, I'll talk to you all later. Bye.